I'm Rachel Long, Farm Advisor with UC Cooperative Extension in Yolo County. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sample and identify aphids in alfalfa to effectively control them. Aphids feed on alfalfa and at the same time inject toxins that stunt plants, reduce yield, and may even kill alfalfa plants. Aphids also excrete honeydew and the sooty mold that grows on it reduces the livestock feed value. There are four aphid types that infest alfalfa. Blue alfalfa, pea, cowpea, and spotted alfalfa aphids. Monitoring for blue alfalfa, pea, and cowpea aphids should start in February. Spotted alfalfa aphids prefer warmer temperatures, so monitoring should start during early summer. Monitor fields for aphids and their natural enemies once a week. If aphid numbers are increasing, monitor fields every two to three days to see if natural enemies are helping to suppress the aphids. Natural enemies can quickly reduce aphid numbers and insecticide sprays may not be needed. Use the aphid sampling form that can be downloaded from the UCIPM website to record aphid and natural enemy numbers. When sampling, follow these 10 steps. Select four different areas of the field. Randomly pick five stems from each of the four areas. Note if the average plant height is less than 10 inches, 10 to 20 inches, or more than 20 inches in each area. Shake the five stems from each area onto your sweep net to dislodge the aphids. Identify the aphid species you have. Different species cause different levels of damage and have different treatment thresholds. The pea aphid and blue alfalfa aphid are large green aphids. They are very similar in appearance and can be distinguished from each other by examining the antennae with a hand lens. Pea aphid antennae have narrow dark bands at the tip of each segment, whereas Blue alfalfa aphid antennae are uniformly brown. Sometimes there are also pink biotypes of the pea aphid. Cowpea aphid is easy to identify because it is the only black aphid found infesting alfalfa. The spotted alfalfa aphid is small, pale yellow or gray, with four to six rows of spined black spots on its back. Estimate and record the number of healthy aphids. Note the presence of natural enemies, including parasitized aphids and aphids killed by fungi. Golden brown aphid mummies indicate parasitization by parasitic wasps. These tiny wasps often provide adequate control of aphids. Brownish colored aphids indicate infection with a fungal disease, which is most prevalent during cool, rainy, or foggy weather. If pea or spotted aphids are present and their numbers are close to the treatment threshold, sample the field with a sweep net for the presence of lady beetles and other predators such as green lacewings and big-eyed bugs. Calculate the aphid to lady beetle ratio. For pea and spotted alfalfa aphid thresholds, do not apply insecticides if there is an average of four or more adult lady beetles or three or more lady beetle larvae per sweep for every 40 aphids counted per stem. On stubble fields, this ratio is one larva per 50 aphids. If natural enemies are not suppressing the aphids, consider applying an insecticide when the numbers of aphids reach the levels listed in the treatment threshold tables. If both blue alfalfa and pea aphids are present, use the lower blue alfalfa aphid treatment threshold because the blue alfalfa aphid toxin is more damaging than the pea aphid to alfalfa. Remember, Unnecessary pesticide applications are costly and may harm natural enemies of many pests. Using alfalfa resistant varieties and encouraging natural enemies save you money and protect our natural resources. 
For more information, visit the Alfalfa Pest Management Guidelines on the University of California Statewide Integrated Pest Management Program website.